Jeff Gleemeister, Executive Director of the AACA Museum in Hershey. I'm here at the lower level of our museum space in our lower level gallery, and I want to talk a little bit about buses. We are a very unique museum in the fact that we have all kinds of wheeled transportation, and we're one of the few places in the country where you can see full-size buses. And as you can see from the gallery space here, any given time we could have up to maybe a dozen buses on display here. That's possible because we have a partnership with a group called the Museum of Bus Transportation. They used to be a separate nonprofit organization dedicated to the history and preservation of buses. And uh, they recently joined or merged with the museum last year, or actually January 1st of this year, and they're now part of us. So they're, they're a membership level part of our museum. All these buses are now part of the museum's permanent collection that we share together with the public. We um, have been very fortunate as a museum to have vehicles in several different movies. We had a whole bunch of cars in a movie called The Good Shepherd that came out in the mid-2000s. We've had vehicles in um, Boardwalk Empire, the HBO show. We've also had two buses that are celebrity buses. The one to the left here was used in the movie Speed. And that's a, it's one of our celebrity buses. We supply cars and other vehicles for promotions and, and, and movies and, and television shows on a fairly regular basis as needed. And uh, this is one of our more famous vehicles. Kind of a neat thing, a lot of our buses are now open so that you can come through and actually sit in them. You can't touch the controls, you sit in the control, the driver's seat, but you can go throughout the rest of the bus, which makes for a really unique and personal experience when you come visit a museum like this. Now there's a lot here that you can't touch, but there's a lot that you can go through and get up close and personal with. And we're glad to be able to offer that for our visitors. And we're happy to share a little bit of it with you in this video right now, so you can see what we have to offer when we're open to the public and you can actually come in person and take advantage of this. I said we had several celebrity buses. I think the speed bus is probably number two behind the Forrest Gump bus, which I'm gonna show you now. Forrest Gump, of course, is an iconic American movie with Tom Hanks and um, this bus was not in the movie for a long time, but if you saw the movie, it was a memorable scene and you will certainly remember it. If you remember the scene in Washington where there's a protest and uh, Forrest, Forrest's girlfriend Jenny is with the, the group that's doing the protest, I think Forrest comes on the bus and uh, accosts the guy who's giving Jenny, I think the guy slaps Jenny and Forrest comes on and gives him a hard time and takes Jenny away. This is the bus used in that scene. It's, it's used in a few other areas as well. That's his prominent scene. The Museum of Bus Transportation supplied this vehicle for the movie production when it was brand new and the movie was made. Again, it's another bus you can go on, you can get up close and personal with it, you can share a space that uh, Tom Hanks was in during the filming of one of the most iconic movies of that decade. Again, we have, we have more than just celebrity buses here. Not every bus is gonna be a, a celebrity vehicle like that or a movie vehicle, but most people, most people have car stories. They've owned cars, they have transportation stories. Most people have also ridden down buses. So we have everything from the uh, ubiquitous yellow school bus that many people, me included, well, growing up as a child. We have buses like that. We have buses that date way back to the early 1900s with uh, wicker seats. They're basically elongated cars or small trucks that have been turned to another purpose by the addition of body modifications. We have buses of all shapes and sizes, and like our car displays, we rotate buses as well and try to do special theme things. So again, another reason to come to the museum once we reopen, which we hope will be very soon. It's my pleasure to share this collection with you. I hope you'll think about learning more about buses and uh, the ADCA Museum itself. And if you're so inclined, we'd appreciate your financial support during this time of crisis as we try and make it through together and we open to serve you, our public. If you'd like more information or wish to make a contribution, please give us a call at 717-566-7100 or visit our website where you'll find multiple ways that you can get involved and help this museum thrive and prosper. And you can do that at www.aacamuseum.org. And again, thank you very much. And we'll look forward to seeing you here at the museum very soon.